Whoa, are we live? Oh. Are we live? Yeah, we don't no, no countdown today. No we'll countdown today. No, no time for countdown. You were trying to catch me doing this shit. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what happened. Kenobi, strike him down. Room. Kenobi's got the high ground. Yeah, he does. He knows I'm evil. Look at him. Just. Welcome to the super fun size uh, SF Combo Co. Uh, yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> this is gonna be the, probably the shortest one ever. <laughs> uh, a lot of shit going down today, so uh, just a, quick, a couple quick things to talk about with you guys. Uh, this is number one eighty five, the SF Company Hour. I, I mean, spelled company wrong. <laughs> company. We'll fix that. We'll fix that in post. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm Ray Doomzilla, joined by the Maximum Effort Grayson. What's going on, man? Oh, not much. Should I just switch it on my thing? Company right now? Yep. CM, CM Penny. Penny. CM, CM Penny. Penny. <laughs> Penny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, so welcome to the channel if you're new. Uh, we do comics, movies, TV shows, little little wrestling every now and then, video cats. games, cats, <laughs> cat, cat, orange cat enthusiast. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, just see whatever nerd stuff we love talking about. So we'll this is gonna be like I said, it's gonna be a quick one. Got shit to do, uh, but we'll have a couple talk uh, topics and uh, uh, a couple things to talk about. Uh, first, we'll talk real quickly uh, about the passing of Richard Lewis. Uh, one of the one of the great. If you grew up in the '80s, he was kind of all over the '80s. Uh, Richard Lewis was a, a comedic icon, of course. Uh, you know, had a, a nice little second wind of a career. Uh, in uh, Kirby Enthusiasm, one of the one of the best uh, characters on that uh, on that show. Uh, but yeah. yeah, great great comedian and uh, a great comedian. Uh, you know, had a couple movie movie roles, so he had a couple TV shows. Uh, just very small, uh, nothing crazy. Uh, yeah, I remember he was he was in Robin Hood, uh, uh, Men in Tight, <laughs> Prince John. <laughs> Prince John. He was really I thought he probably almost almost stole the movie in that uh, in that uh, in that. Uh, in that one uh but yeah just a little small uh, bits but oh, anytime he showed up he, he was hilarious and like you said the curb uh he had a great role so yeah what are, you, what are your thoughts on the richard lewis passing man uh yeah it was a little surprising i mean it's he was he was only 74 um i mean people like oh 74 is a long time 74 is not a long time in today's standards no, uh, no. he had a, he, he should have had at least a good another more uh 20 more years uh Fucking guy is hilarious. That down to his uh his trademark hairstyle. Fucking love that fucking swooping old school mullet that he had. Um, just a the neuro the the neurotic neurotics fucking comedian. Yeah, yeah. Like the 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 stuff that he used to just go into would would crack me up. I love this character character on Curb. Um, and th there was a lot of other uh. He did. He did a few sitcoms, um, and it didn't take off, obviously. Yeah, uh, but he he was really good in some really small roles that he had. I, I still keep going back to the wrong guys. A movie with him, uh, Louis Anderson, mm -hmm. Franklin Ajay. Yeah, where they play like a Cub Scout, uh, a Cub Scout troop reuniting after uh, after thirty years to tackle you know the the camping trip that they weren't able to do as kids. And he's fucking hilarious in it. Uh, Richard Belzer is part of that uh, part of that movie. I think I talked about it before. I think uh, after Bell's passed. Um, but yeah, dude, it's it's just sad. If if you guys haven't seen comedy by Richard Lewis, go watch it. Yeah, yeah. Anything but love was a sitcom that kind of hit for a while. I mean, who, I who, who was that with? Was, was that Helen Hunt that he was with? Was it? No, it was. Um... I know. I know. I knew he had a kick. Hit. That one. It was around, but. Was Jamie Lee Curtis? Really? Damn, she did Jamie fucking. Uh... Curtis and who else? Yeah, I'm looking at the at the at the at the cast. It looks like they probably just spent all their money. Oh, Joseph, Joseph Mayer. Yeah, he was the. It looks like he was the um, the Monsignor from uh, uh, the Monsignor from Sister Act, the yeah. first Sister Act. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the one that kind of hit for a while. That that's a, the one that lasted. I remember like seeing a few episodes of that. Uh, yeah, well, it, yeah, it looks like it lasted a few 
what how many 89 92 three years yeah three see yeah at 56 episodes so yeah it, it, but but on uh on uh on fucking curb he's he's hilarious i still have to curb. catch up on uh on uh this this last season but yeah he he was he's fucking gold on that show the best part of curb is that you know it's an improv then there's not the people who are doing the writing is you know the guys who are talking there's no yeah. writing there, yeah. there's a there's a premise that they they just riff on and uh dude richard lewis had fucking a ton of them on there that you know uh him and his that him and uh his girlfriend with larry uh <laughs> when he when he uh gets his uh his tantric mantra from fucking Larry. <laughs> and it turns out to be, it's, it's, he's saying, fuck me over and over again for like an erotic, fuck me, fuck me. He got so angry. He was like, fuck me, Larry. No, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it, it, it's just, it's just great to see him on curb because that comedic timing, that's his. Yeah. You know, and uh, you, you can't, you can't fake it. You can't replicate it on that show. Funny is funny because that's you. Yeah, you know, this is not, yeah, no, you can't, you can't like, fake that. I, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I, I repeat Richard Lewis, man, uh, one of, one of the all time greats. Like, go watch some of his 80s stand up, too. Like, some of his old yeah. stand up, man, they were, they were fucking gold. Some of those HBO specials were great. His HBO specials were great. I, I'm not sure if they have them on, on Max or anything, but I'm sure you can find them on YouTube. Yeah, they're somewhere online for sure. Yeah, go check those out. Um, all right, uh, so yeah, let's talk about a little bit of uh, yeah, some good news uh, dropped last week. Uh, we got Battlefront 2 uh, and Battlefront, the uh, original games, uh, I believe on was it PlayStation and Xbox, X, the original Xbox. And were they on PlayStation or just on Xbox? Uh, no, they were they were both consoles, okay? They were both. Yeah. I play, I remember playing, yeah, we had it on X, yeah, yeah, Xbox was the, uh, the system we played it on, but they're re releasing them, uh, coming out next week on the 14th. Uh, some of the, if you never played them, um, some of the best, oh, like, uh, kind of like pre Call of Duty, pre, uh, like during around, like pretty much around the time of Halo and stuff, too. But these games are like some of the best Star Wars game, open world battle, you know, you, you get, a, you know, pick a trooper and you go in, try to, it's like, capture the flag. Uh, such a uh, fun game and, uh, and just like the worlds they created. Uh, so uh, great, you know, you could fight in Camino in the prequel, you could fight in Endor, you could fight uh, on the Death Star, you can fight. Uh, just some great, a lot of hours of fun with this game. Uh, the only reason I still kind of keep my Xbox 360 so I could play those games. But now uh, they were really some, uh, there looks like they're improving, uh, just kind of improving, tweaking the graphics. I think the gameplay is sticking, uh, staying the same. Uh, but I'm super juiced for these games. I love these games so much. Uh, well, my favorite, well, my favorite Star Wars, uh, uh, Star Wars games for sure. Uh, and uh, the fact that we're getting one and two together too, it's it's a uh, good time to be a Star Wars fan. Uh, looks like they're re-releasing a bunch of the old uh, Star Wars games. We got Dark Forces coming out. Also, I think just oh, came out. Nice. Uh, that one I think just came. I like the Doom, uh, kind of like Doom style um, uh, game from like shit. 20, 30, what, 25 years ago, almost, damn. Uh, we're getting old. But, uh, yeah, what did you think of uh, Battlefront, man, coming out, man? Oh, dude, this was a, this was a very, very pleasant surprise. Um, I'm, I get super excited when they release these old games, but I'm, I am starting to get into a place, and not saying there's anything wrong with releasing these old games, especially one like Battlefront or, or like, you know, Resident wow. Evil. But one thing I'm just starting to see now is are is gaming starting to turn into the movies? That's one thing I'm afraid of. That mm. they're just gonna keep on remaking all this old shit because well, the old stuff is better. Don't get me wrong. You know, fucking yeah. Battlefront was Battlefront was an amazing game. It was fucking fun as fuck. Yeah, yeah. I, good, I think good, that's the good that's multiplayer the key. game. Yeah, it's mm. a good, it's a it's a good, uh, it's a good split screen game. Mm -hmm. Um. It's good to have friends uh, uh, just, you know, fuck around on it. I, I can't wait for the online part of this game because, you know, get a, get a few folks uh, and just, you know, run a massive war. Yeah. Um, the maps look great. I remember the maps. Uh, I love the, the fact that you can choose um, <clears throat> the Republic or the Separatists. Uh, you know, choose the droid, droid army, Roger, Roger. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm just, like, still afraid of this whole... It goes back to like Grand, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, like the trilogy. It was kind of substandard when it first came out. You know, it, it was a rushed game. 
I just don't want them rushing shit anymore. Wasn't the mobile game they like basically just like released? Yeah, they they pretty much just ported the the mobile game over, but they 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 made tweaks to it. It's still not exactly where it needs to be. Mm. Um, but that's what I'm afraid of sometimes. You know, uh, it's just like a lackadaisical port over. I'm excited for it because I know what it is and what what it can be. I just hope they do it right. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, I'm, 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 yeah, I think, I think it's hopefully it's good. I got my pre order uh, ready to go. Yeah, it comes out next Thursday. I think, uh, hopefully the Friday after that, I'm off. So I'm probably gonna be playing Battlefront all day, trying to get through the, all the maps and stuff. And just uh, re, re, uh, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fun game, man. Uh, get, getting to play has a, uh, you know, murder bears and, and taking out the uh, stormtroopers. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And then, uh, the second game introduced, uh, like the Jedi's. So if you, you know, you get a, you know, kill a certain amount of players or get a certain amount of points, you get to pick a Jedi to go in and basically run around, like just start sl- slicing fucking troopers up with your lightsaber. It's fun. <coughs> it's, fun. it's fun as shit. Yeah. It's a fun game. You take over vehicles. You can be, uh, ride the vehicles. There's space battles. <coughs> uh, just all around, just one of the great Star Wars games of all time, in my opinion, anyways. No, it's uh, it's awesome. Of, it's a lot of fun. <coughs> I'm glad that people are going to be able to like kind of experience it too. Like, this I'm just hoping like, like, it, like it's a port. I just don't want it to. Yeah, I don't want it to. Don't for us, it too much. Yeah, like the new Battlefronts were okay. They weren't bad. They were actually a lot of fun. Uh, but the, there's something about the feel of those old games that just kind of they uh, tweak the formula a little bit too much. Yeah, yeah, and it's trying to make it too. You know, I guess it's you got to make a uh, modern game. But uh, uh, we're talking about uh, Star Wars Battlefront one and Star two. Wars Battlefront. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming back, which is it's just yeah, nice. I don't know if you remember that one, Leo. I think yeah, that was on an yeah, Xbox. Yeah, if you you came over my house at some point, you uh, you played that game. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> at some point, you were fucking weeks. That's all we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like I said, the silly reason is I kind of have my three hundred and sixty. Well, I have a couple arcade games that are still on there, but the the reason I have my three hundred and sixty is so I can play Battlefront because <laughs> I love that fucking game. So. Yeah, that's coming out. Uh, coming out next week. Uh, you can pre-order it. I believe it's coming out on oh, all systems. Switch. Uh, what? What's? What are the? Um, what are the benefits of a pre-order? Uh, I don't think there's any benefits. I just uh, think it just. I'm, you just I'm, uh, yeah, I don't think let me look that up if there is, man. Because sometimes if you pre-order, I know for <laughs> yeah. me there was. Yeah, you get a benefits pre-order. I think uh, mostly that's with new games though. Like, oh, you get uh, you know a special skin, or you get a fucking special level, or special some bullshit so. Yeah, I don't think you get anything special on uh, the pre-order. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Let's jump into this. Uh, so, Superman. Uh, we got a cast photo. Um, we'll go, what, a week, a week or a half ago. We got to uh, get to see everybody that's going to be in the cast. We get to see. Uh, you know, we got Guy Gardner, Nathan Fillion. You got the uh, guy playing Mister Terrific. I forgot his name. We got uh, Superman back in the, uh, in the background with the green hat. We got uh, bald. Uh, Nicholas Holt looks good, bald. He's gonna make a great Lex Luthor. He's gonna make a great Lex, man. I'm telling yeah. you, I get, I get excited more. I think about him as, as Lex. Yeah, uh, we got uh, we got um, uh, Brasnahan right there in her gray shirt. I think she's gonna be great. And then the uh, hot girl next to her, uh, Metamorpho up in the top right in the yellow. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, a fun cast. It looks like a fun cast. Looks like a uh, and we also got uh, a name change. It's now it's just gonna be Superman, not Superman Legacy. Uh, Gunn said when he was writing this, finished the script, he was like, "Yeah, this just needs to be called Superman. It doesn't need any like extra title or anything." Thank you. Uh, which I think I think it's just yeah, it's just Superman. You don't need any like weird title with it. And uh, we got a little hint of the 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 S. There was some um, leaked uh, supposed leaked footage that got debunked. Uh, looks like it was AI uh, generated uh, of a uh, corn sweat in the suit, but that was all debunked. So we get a little look at the uh, the S. It looks kind of almost Kingdom Come-ish, kind of, uh, uh, kind of, uh, what did you say, like Electric Superman kind of uh, vibes. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so we get uh, Superman, uh, just Superman coming out next uh, July 11th. Uh, we got a little a hint of the costume. Uh, we got a look at the cast together. Uh, so, yeah, what would you think of all this? Uh, super- and we got also got Perry White cast. Yeah, uh, yeah what's his name? Um, uh, dude from The Wire. Uh, his cast is uh, Perry White. I like that actor a lot. So yeah, that's a uh, Miles. Think... Is it Miles something? Oh shit, Miles something. Here, Miles Teller? Uh, no, not. Oh, <laughs> better not be man. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that would suck fucking ass. Uh, 
Let me see. Wendell Pierce. Wendell Pierce, yeah. Wendell Pierce. He's a good actor, man. I like that guy. He, yeah. uh, his voice, the way he sounds, it's very, uh, yeah, it's flowy, dude. I, I like it. Yeah, he's, he's going to be a good Perry, uh, Barry White. Barry White. Barry White. <laughs> Barry White. Barry White. <laughs> Barry White. <laughs> Yeah, so we got that all that news. Uh, so yeah, what'd you think of the Superman news that was dropping this week? They're starting to film. This is the the begin the first week of filming. We should, we oh, should. I love it. I well, the thing is, like, I'm more excited. I, I just love that any little bit. I, this is, I know people don't want Gun talking, but this is exactly <laughs> why I want him talking because there's too many fucking trolls. Keep trolling them back. Fuck them. I know people are like, oh, be 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 above it. No, don't be above it. Fuck them. Go after the trolls. Give them shit. You're the filmmaker. These guys haven't done shit. <laughs> they haven't done shit. All they do is talk about the shit that you that you do. And they say how much of shit you are. Yet you're the one fucking continually getting jobs and all that. Like, look, I'm not, I don't, I'm not talking bad about Zack Snyder. I, I we we're actually both Zack Snyder uh fans. But we're not gonna, you know, we're not, gonna bow, we're, we're not just gonna we're not gonna bend the knee. Get over it, dude. Like, yeah. uh, it's over this. It. Like, oh, I, I have. Like, I, I see people post like, oh, I have faith they're gonna go back to it. Like, dude, they're not going back to Let that. Let it shit. go. They should fail financially horribly and failed critically horribly. Like, dude, it's like a, there's a small pocket of fans that enjoyed it, but it's over, dude. Like, they had ten years and they just and and, and it's not all Zack Snyder's fault. It's the no, studio no. kind of interfering and trying to do mm -hmm. like trying to have it all. Look, uh, but, Zack Snyder's his cuts would have been a they would have made a lot more money. I feel they're 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 a little bit more uh there's a little there's too much shit that the studios cut out that made some things not make sense. You got the studio fucked them. But at the same time, he needs to get over himself a little bit. Um but yeah, I I I love I love everything that James Gunn is doing right now. The, yeah, the the, the big change. From just calling it Superman. Let, let's not. I think that's Man of Steel. I, it's a great title, but it should have been Superman, the Man of Steel. You know, you don't. Superman, you know, like, you know, like Corbin Dallas. Sure. <laughs> it's just Superman. That's all. It, that's all it should be. And I'm glad that they're fucking going back to it. And I, I, I got excited when I saw that cast photo, man. They got some good people in this movie. Yeah, so it looks like a fun cast. I like the yeah. It's uh, some you know they're gonna, they're gonna have some fun. I like dude as Jimmy Olsen too. Uh, I think yeah, he's oh great. he's gonna be a great Jimmy. Olsen. Like look if we if you like break it down like the girl next to Rachel Bro Brosnahan that's uh she's hot gonna girl. be she she looks like she looks like she'd be a good hot girl small yeah, that's, petite that's, and gonna fuck you up dude. That's Dora right? Huh? That's Dora. Yeah. But yeah, yeah look, like I, I like I like homeboy uh, uh, in the back who's gonna be Metamorpho. Uh, I don't know who the fake Kevin Sorbo is uh, hugging. I think that's a producer. Oh, I'm it's gonna, a producer. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. But, but I, I, I dig I, I dig the cast, man. Yeah, it's I gonna really be really dig the cast. Um. Yeah, I'm excited about. I dig. That, the, yeah. I, I I dig the director. He, uh, next July is gonna be fucking lit. It's gonna be fucking. They're gonna have some bangers next July, man. We have Fantastic Four and Superman coming out the same month. That's gonna be fucking awesome. Uh, and that's a good competition. Although, that's those are two movies that are gonna hopefully save the comic book genre yeah, right there. Un, the un, un, unless, unless Fantastic, the only thing Fantastic Four hasn't really done yet is they haven't told me who the villain is. Yeah, I want to know what the villain at, is. At least, at least fucking Superman is giving me. I know I'm getting Lex. Do I, am I getting Doom? Am I getting? I want to know. Who, I want to know who, who else Superman. Uh, Superman needs to punch some people in this movie, man. Like, oh, he needs well, to punch there, some, uh... there's gonna there's gonna be. It looks like there's gonna be some folks, man. Because I mean, you got all these heroes. There's gonna be. There has to be. There just can't be mention of one villain. Yeah, I want to see Brainiac. Be... I want to see fucking. I want to see some uh, Metallo. Yeah, I want to see some something fucking... in the. There's something in the atmosphere, or something in in you know our trajectory to Earth. Something like that. It'd be great to hear. Mm. I, I don't necessarily have to see it just need to hear it allude to it mm. make me feel that you know there's more threat because that's the thing about superman superman can take care of almost any threat that needs taken care of yeah he's got kind of that well that's kind of the issue with superman like he's uh he's a little, little give me a, threat. OP. He's a little op uh yeah, well, yeah so. give me a threat that's the whole yeah, thing give me a threat. Threat. Yeah, Zod, yeah. zod's a great threat yeah you know, but then it's the whole antithesis of the character it's the shadow i don't want that anymore yeah you know? i'm, I'm kind of sick of that training would be a great one 
Brainiac that's how, I've been begging for Brainiac since. Like Brainiac, Brainiac can, and and Brainiac can create Metello and Metello, yeah. you know, fight Superman. So there's somebody yeah. for him to punch. You, you, you so. can use Mongol. Yeah, yeah. Desert, there's, there's, there's a few people Sparrow. you can use. I think Despero, Despero, Despero would be great. Sparrow would be great. Yeah, one of my uh, favorite images from the comic is when he came to Earth and just fucked the Justice League up and. He like tore, tore the uh, the fucking flag from the UN. He used it as a cape and just started fucking. Oh, fucker! Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, Superman, uh, Superman coming out next year. Uh, I'm excited. We're gonna probably see some more set photos. We're gonna. Uh, I, I I have a feeling in the next couple months we'll see uh, uh, Corn Sweat in the suit, just kind of the to debunk all the. Um, uh, all the other bullshit that's coming out. So we're, yeah, we'll see I didn't. I years. didn't like the look of that suit either. I I, I know the like, short cape like, was cool. I, I like but the, the colors were off. Uh, I like the aspects of it, but if it's something like close to that, I you know I can get on board. But uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll we'll probably get an official image pretty soon. I I would say before Comic Con uh, in the mm -hmm. next a uh, few months. But uh, yeah, that's coming up. All right, <laughs> all right. So coming up, hmm. our first image <laughs> of the Crow, uh, the Crow remake that was you know almost on par with the the Spawn Beetlejuice movie that you know there was a billion people that were cast as this. Uh, I think Jason Momoa at one point was going to be one. Uh, I think there was this has gone through a billion like recasts and directors. Uh, this is our first look at uh, Bill Skarsgård has the Crow. Uh, and I guess this is what the, the director is doing. This is my assumption. Like, okay, like the crow came out in the '90s, so of course the crow looked more like of a '90s rocker guy. And unfortunately, this is what our fucking musicians look like now: tattoos and weird tattoos and weird haircuts and weird uh, clothing. So now our rock. This is what our rock stars look like. So it's kind of reflective of what our fucking shitty rock stars look like now. Uh, so yeah, uh, I, I'm going to let you talk about this because I know the crow is very close to your heart. At one point, he was uh, the crow uh, during a, um, a semester. Uh, but semester, <laughs> fucking twenties. Uh, Mister the crow himself. Uh, yeah, what, what are your thoughts when you first did, uh, did, saw this? <laughs> this was fucking I was excited if you cut out just this here looks good looks good he's got the he's got the good face for it you know like the bone structure I, I like uh, Bill Scar's got a lot man I, I, yeah, like I think he's well. great I don't know what the fuck they're thinking like I know that the guy was like, oh, well, you know, my inspirations were Lil Peep. Oh, God, that's the fucking one right there, dude. What the fuck? You know what the worst thing is right now? Eric Draven drinks Sam Adams, bro. <laughs> fucking pussy. Yeah, yeah fucking, Sam Adams. Dude, this is... Unless you're from Boston. Not just uh, that, yeah. too. He, he's got the fucking tattoo above his fucking eye. You know, look, I love, I like Post Malone's music and everything like that. You know, it's he's a cool, he's a cool act, he's a cool dude. What the? F he's not a fucking rock star. I, I don't know, dude. It. What the fuck is the? Why is his nipple fucking part of the tattoo and shit, dude? I don't get this shit. I don't fucking get. People, are like, oh, well, you're just outdated. No, you're just a fucking dickhead moron. What did uh, what did Alex Alex Proyas went off on this? Uh, <laughs> Alex Proyas, I mean, don't get me wrong. Alex Proyas has only done like a, a handful of movies. He, he can't really talk, but his movie is iconic. I think it's more iconic because Brendan Lee died. No, uh, it's, it's it's more iconic than that, dude. The whole it 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 it, it sparked the whole uh, goth movement. You're not, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not a scene you're into, but it sparked the whole fucking thing. Fucking just, one uh, of the just, greatest soundtracks ever. It just makes me sad that if uh, I just wish because if Brendan dying just kind of ruins that movie for me, man. Like the more I watch it, the more I see where they made the cuts. And you, you can, can see, oh well, now we can see that, it really good. Now back it's then, like you know, really, can... yeah. That back then too, the it was uh, just now it's just I just see where they made the cuts and where they you know where they can where they superimpose certain images over some kinda, overlaying it kinda, things. It kinda, it kinda ruins the movie for me the more I watch it. So I kind of like. Uh, but uh, yeah, Proyas went off. He kind of went off on the whole thing. He was, <laughs> what did he say? He said something. Did he say it looks like a bootleg Joker from Suicide Squad? Because said, Leo agrees with him. Yeah. 
This is bad, uh, dude. That's the first thing I thought of, Leo. He reminded me of, Le- uh, of Leto. Leto. Uh, he said, uh, he said, Eric Draven's having a bad hair day. <laughs> he said, next reboot, thanks. Uh, uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of going out. What what what's with that shaved mullet looking like fucking eleven from fucking uh, season two, dude? It looks like uh, it looks like D- uh, Die Antwoord. He's to try, they're trying to go out after these like you know the, this like modern hip hop rocker guys. It's not hip hop. <laughs> you know what? I, I'm just waiting to to hear the Kanye oh, fucking God, soundtrack to this shit. No, no, look the crow. The, the that's the whole thing about the first movie. The crow to me, look. It, 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 it's a perfect marriage of look, feel, atmosphere, music. The down to the gothic soundtrack uh, uh, that was uh, played uh, by Grand Ravel. Everything worked for this. This looks like shit. I'm still gonna be there to watch it. Why? Because <laughs> I was there to watch fucking the Crow City of Angels, which was shit. <laughs> What was the third one? What was it the third one? The too? Crow, uh, Salvation. So, was it Salvation? With Eric with Eric, with Eric Mabius. Uh, that yeah. movie was shit. The one with Eddie, Eddie Furlong was the fucking crow. They're not. This is not going to be as bad as those. But the fucking this is, uh, this this is coming out too soon. The worst thing that I have is leave Eric. Draven alone. It's done. That's that should have been Brandon's. That should have been Brandon's. There's so many other people in the comics. The crow isn't one person. The crow is is, is like an entity that allows you to come back to set the wrong things right, to fix your fucking wrongs, and bring you back as a zo- an undead zombie to cause fucking hell, to go fucking John Wick on people. <sighs> I just, I, I don't get, I, I, I really hope that the fucking, because this is what they look like. The city needs to feel, because we don't know what city it is. It, it felt like Detroit because they kept on calling each other uh, Motor City motherfuckers, you know? So it's, it, it has to have like a Detroit like feel. Fucking. Just, well, they had, uh, well, yeah, it was Detroit, wasn't it? The original. Yeah, but they, they never said it was Detroit. Well, they did the uh, Devil's Night and shit. That's, that's from Detroit. Never said Detroit. Hmm. It, that's the whole thing. It's it's just they, they allude to it. They even say uh, all all that shit that you know caught fire in Lake Erie. Never mentioned Detroit. Oh. They just don't. They, it's just assumed. Mm. But that the whole city in that movie is a character, just like Gotham. Just, yeah. And now uh, this, this the images like this do not give me. They don't give me fucking any kind of hope. Just do other characters. They could have did a female. They could have did a female. Oh, people they could have brought, oh, Yeah, they could have did. They could have did Iris from. Um, I, I forgot the the storyline where she's a Native American. They could have used Amber Mid Thunder from Prey to fucking do that one where they kill her son and she goes fucking berserk and kills everybody. They could have wrote a brand new one. Yeah, this is. But uh, this is the problem with Hollywood. This is this. Oh, that was talking about games. They go after what they think is safe. But the worst thing is, is that they take it and they fuck with it, and then they turn it to shit. Yeah, this is coming out June seventh. Uh, this is a few months, so we'll, we'll probably get uh, some kind of uh, some kind of um, some kind of trailer within the next like month or so. If we start hearing fucking like uh, the weekend during the fucking trailer. Dun, dun, I'm fucking yeah, it's gonna get some, yeah, it's gonna be some hip hop shit. Uh, Luna, Lunar Incognito, you can't beat Bruce Lee's son. Perfect choice. Sad he died like that, but this is not a movie we needed or wanted. Very I think yeah, it, the, the franchise has potential, but I think the this franchise is, has great. But, but see, right? It's everybody should take the mantle of it. Yeah, you it know? should be. It, it should be a different crow for every. It should be a different crow. Person. Yeah, uh, they, but, they, you know. they could have remade City of Angels. <laughs> Into a better movie. The only reason it was kind of shitty is because the actor couldn't, you couldn't fucking understand him. You know, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Vincent yeah, Perez, yeah, he was yeah, very, yeah. <laughs> and, and some of the lines just came off weird. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was so excited for this shit. Yeah. The, the, I was well, like, I'm going to get right. reversed. <laughs> Are you gonna start getting tattoos on your face and start? No, man. I, I was gonna start paint. I was gonna show up in full face paint and regalia, bro. 
get a, pull get out, a pull nipple, out your trench coat. Nipple, uh, nipple tattoo. <laughs> no, there's no nipple tattoos for me. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a weird, weird a couple ten years, a couple decades with Rick. <laughs> like what? Like if I show up with a fucking shirtless and a nipple fucking tattoo and shit, people. You know what? Sorry, beat me over the head like a oh, fucking man. big seal, bro. Okay, that, 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 that should not ever fucking happen. It's not me. This Rick fucking reboot is gonna be weird, man. man. <laughs> no, Rick rebooted. No, no. Rick rooted. Oh my god. Oh, god. This uh, was. I'm like I said. I'm still gonna be there. It's, I'm gonna be there to watch a train wreck if it's a train wreck. I will be there to fucking, you know, fucking eat shit if it's great. But it looks bad. Mafia, yeah, he remembers. Yeah. Uh, good times. Good I time. just need to paint the paint. paint, paint <laughs> All right, so we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll that's, talk that's about the trailer when it comes out. I'm sure. And the thing that kills me, dude, it's from. a wasted casting. It feels because that's that motherfucker is. A I like Bill Scott a lot, man. He's he's getting some uh some you know getting some roles. Like hopefully uh hopefully this doesn't derail his career. <laughs> Uh, sometimes it, that can uh, one roll. That shit does happen. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. And, we'll see when it, usually, see it usually it has to do with a fan base that you piss off. Mm. Remember that. Fucking yeah, Rose Tico. I haven't seen her fucking act la- yet. You know, she had a fucking nervous breakdown because of that shit. I'm not saying that fucking they're gonna come after him like that if, if it sucks. No, nah, so I, I think the, I think the director will get all the shit. That's like, gonna get it. People, people love Bill's, uh, Bill Skarsgård. That's yeah, not, I, I think uh, that's who'll get it. They won't yeah. blame Pennywise. Oh, yeah. go watch Pennywise. He's great. Pennywise. Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> Before Rick has a fucking aneurysm. <laughs> I'm, gonna fall, I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna have it mid backstroke. Uh, let's go cool down. Let's go jump in the pool. Uh, pool list. Uh, stuff you picked up. Uh, stuff you picked up. Stuff you listened to. So. Uh, Something you want to rant about? Something you loved? Something that made you happy uh, this week? Uh, what's uh, what's on your pull list this week? Oh, so for me, one and only thing. Uh, whoa! Don't step on the button there, buddy. Uh, Final Fantasy VII remake or rebirth. Uh, this game, dude. So like back almost what nineteen years ago, ninety seven. Uh, this game came out on PS one, three disc game. And now this is the second part of the remake, and it's been pretty. It's been pretty faithful. Uh, it's trippy to to go from the blocky sprites of a PS One to a beautiful world that you probably only imagined and looked at those sprites and be like, oh, this is probably what they were going for. And, but now you get it fully fleshed out. Um, it it's just it's one of the most beautiful games. Uh, it's not on the level of realism as. Uh, like Red Dead, but it's 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 a it's a different game. It's a little bit more cartoony, but it's fun. It's that more uh kind of like a, a Japanese anime, uh, like a serious anime. You know, characters kind of look like Rick Hunter or you know guys from uh, like Macross. But it it it's a it's a fun game, dude. It's uh the battle system is a lot. It's revamped for the people who didn't like the active t- time battles where you have to wait. You know, for your time, you actually can do a hack and slash. Uh, you just got to pay attention to your bars because when you build up your meter, you can select different attacks. You can either attack with your different sword attacks or you could de- attack with, uh, like, you know, magic or call, you know, use items to replenish uh, your party members. You get to control three different party members during a fight. It's it's just great. Like, right now, like, I've gone, I think I'm about 15 hours into the game. And I've only, because I've been exploring the, you know, region by region, I'm just taking it all in. Uh, and it, it's fun. They have it's different things. So if you're if you're expecting to play the same old Final Fantasy VII back in the day, uh, you're gonna get some of that, but you're gonna get a lot of new shit too, and and it's and it's a lot of fun. So yeah, go they're check it going, out. They're just going through every Final Fantasy and remaking them, right? Let's, let's just kind uh, of- well, they they haven't remade anything except this one so far. Like seven seven's being remade. So one game is going to get turned into three games, kind of like Assassin's Creed Part Two. Assassin's Creed Two uh, is three games because it's two, then it's uh, Brotherhood, and then it's Legacy. Um, yeah, but it, it's uh, this is just a second game, and they say this game is almost three times 
the size of the first game. The first game is very lineal, you know, you, you, you're uh, very linear. You're going to go through this, you know, this path here, go over here. The other one offers more openness, but it's still in a way it's linear. It's still sending you to go this way here. Uh, you can do other offshoot shit and go exploring, you know, uh, find new monsters. And if you find new monsters, fight the monsters and beat the monsters, you get sent uh, uh, like a training thing where it's like, okay, since you beat these monsters, the guy goes, I made a new monster based off of these on, in, a, in an AI here. Try to fight it. And if you beat it, he gives you a prize, you know. So uh, there's a lot of hours in this game. So they, like the one place I still haven't got to is a place called the Gold Saucer, which is like a casino, and that's where I usually spend my time in that game anyway. Uh, you know, in the original PS One, so I can't. I just can't wait to get there. It's it's fun. Man. I love it. Mm-hmm. Great story too. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Crow Crow going straight to uh, Hulu. <laughs> uh, uh, Brendan Lee Crow. Think so, no. It should, I, I wish it did. Koji Robot <laughs> Mystery Science Theater. I was watching some Mystery Science Theater. I love the uh, the nineties uh, Mystery. The Science old one, theater. yeah, yeah. The new one I couldn't get behind. I'm not. I'm not. I, I like that that comedian, but I just don't like him. I, I don't like the new crow, the crow, and new uh, the new guys doing that. I uh, just they don't they don't do it for me. Uh, Dune Part Two, freaking phenomenal. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, I want to go see it. Yeah, I definitely want to go see it. Uh, happy Tuesday, nerds. Happy Tuesday, Krista. Uh, loner, loner incognito. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Uh, can't find uh, Doom Part 2 in 3D. I'm pissed. I don't think they uh, did a 3D conversion for that one. Uh, I think no, yeah. I don't think he would. I don't think Villeneuve would shoot in 3D. Yeah, yeah, and He's... it would have been, been converted and it would have been, yeah. yeah. Look at all these people and uh, people waking up early on Tuesday, man. Uh, please uh, hit that like button. Hit like and subscribe. Up. Like that like video. Like that video. Uh, love, love that, that video. Joker. <laughs> love that video. Brand uh, X. All right, so I got a couple of things. I got a toy. Uh, I got a new uh, Marvel Legend. I got the Doc Ock uh, from No Way Home. Uh, pretty, pretty sick uh, figure. Found out the the targets. The Target, uh, I saw it sitting on a random shelf. So I was like, "Oh, I need that." I, I had this pre-ordered, but I was like, "Yeah, I can't cancel." I was like, "Ah, let, let me, uh, you know, maybe if I see it in a while." So I saw it in the wild, picked it up. Very cool. You could bend the uh, bend the the arms and stuff. It comes with like different sets of uh, the little pinchers, the little um, uh, things. Uh, very cool looking figure. I think the face is actually pretty spot on. The figure looks pretty damn cool. It's fun. Been been fun playing with this one. So yeah. So now I got the I got the Green Goblin. I got the Spider Man. A couple of the Spider Man. So I'm digging the No Way Home uh, wave of figures that's coming out. Uh, they're a lot of fun. Uh, a couple of movies gonna talk about uh, Waterworld, uh, specifically the Ulysses Cut. Uh, this is a much maligned movie from the uh, the 90s. Uh, kind of was kind of shit upon because it was just a, a big budget. It was like probably I think at the time the biggest movie, uh, yeah. biggest movie budget of all time. Uh, and kind of got shit on for the most part. I, I've always had fun with this movie. Uh, I remember seeing this on the Scrambler back in the day. Uh, it's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. Uh, it's you know, it's 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 just one of those post about it's Mad Max, it's Mad Max on the water. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, Dennis Hopper chewing the scenery, uh, uh, Kevin Costner doing his best Mad Max impression. Uh, but uh, a lot of fun. Uh, this is the Ulysses cut. Uh, if you watch it, you understand why they call it Ulysses. The Ulysses cut. So it's like another forty minutes of uh, of uh, stuff cut in. A lot of a lot of cut scenes. A lot of kind of important like plot points and stuff too. I uh, actually uh, kind of dig it. Like uh, sometimes director's cuts are miss, hit or miss. Sometimes they don't really add anything, and it's just kind of like, oh, here we're gonna throw this in there, and we, th- this are, there's a reason it got. Cut. I know they. I know that's why they cut that. Yeah, I was like, oh, there's a reason we cut that long, pointless scene. But this kind of fills in a couple of the gap, a couple of questions I had about some of the plot. Uh, some more stuff with Dennis Hopper, uh, some more stuff with the girl uh, and the mom. And uh, yeah, kind of, I kind of dug it a lot. Um, uh, so it's just a guilty pleasure. Waterworld. Uh, check out the U- uh, Ulysses cut if you get a chance. Uh, it's, 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 if you, you've never seen Waterworld, it's cheesy. It's fucking, it's nineties. It's fun. Fucking great. Uh, the visuals of like, you know, beautiful ocean visuals. Uh, it's, you know, Mad Max on the water. It's, it's a weird fucking movie. It's very nineties. It's a very guilty uh, pleasure guys. Guilty pleasure. Uh, I, one, another movie I haven't seen in a long fucking time, uh, but I 
kind of, kind of came up in my thoughts the last couple of weeks. Uh, Lover Boy uh, <laughs> with, with Patrick Dempsey. <laughs> uh, this was like '89. Uh, this is just uh, Patrick Dempsey with like a height, a uh, height of his, uh, you know, this after can't buy me love. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, during that time uh, he was like hot shit. Uh, so yeah, this is actually a pretty good uh, uh, cast. You got Carrie Fisher's in here, Christy Alley, uh, Kate Jackson, um, Vic Tabak. Vic Tabak is in here. Vic Tabak's in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a, uh, you know, it's, it's a great cast. Uh, just, you know, he's Isn't trying to Kate, play- Kate Mulligan in it or. One of the Charlie's Angels was in it. Yes, I think that's her mom. Yeah, she that's uh, Kate. Uh, Kate Jackson. Kate Jackson. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She was hot. Uh, so uh, yeah, she she plays um, uh, she plays the mom. Uh, yeah, it's a basically a plot where uh, Patrick Dempsey basically kind of stumbles into being a gigolo, and he's banging all these moms in Hall and Beverly Hills, and they, he works at the pizza joint, so they order extra anchovies, so he knows uh, <laughs> <laughs> that he's he, the love doctor of Beverly Hills. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> That guy's hilarious too. He's in a lot of funny. He's in a lot of eighties stuff. Eighties, uh, straight up eighties. It's like, yeah, I've, I've, I haven't seen this movie in like fucking twenty. It's a fun movie. It's a fun like you know one of those cheesy eighties comedies. Uh, that's when Patrick before he was McDreamy, he was just uh, yeah before he was a fucking serial killer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just saw of- it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's good, right? <laughs> it is. It's a, it was fun, man. It was very yeah. creative. Yeah, yeah, it's his best movie. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, the director's Mr. best. Movie. Yeah, fucking M- McDreamy was McKillen in that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want to spoil what movie we're talking about, but uh, Muck Murder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was great. Let's see. Uh, uh, y'all woke woke me up on my day off. <laughs> yeah, well, I, yeah, I do that. I tend to. I piss everybody off on their day off. Uh, should we, okay, should we have a water world remake? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I think I think actually that might be a good idea, just for the uh simple fact. All this, all these sci-fi movies and like horror movies are social commentaries, and Water World was a social commentary on fucking letting you know the glaciers fucking melt, and this is what fucking might happen. Yeah, uh, I, think be, I think it'd be smart to. Do it again. Don't make the postman over again. But I, no, Waterworld, no, yeah, that movie's fucking boring. That movie, like, like that movie. at least the Waterworld, the Waterworld suck. Water, uh, hey, postman's uh, my guilty uh, pleasure. Uh, Kevin Costner peeing a filter and drag it. Ew, yuck, gross. Uh, well, at least you know, movie it's magic. <laughs> movie <laughs> magic. Yeah, I kind of like the world they fucking build. Like, uh, but it, it doesn't make any sense because if, if the polar ice caps all melted, it would be like you know, it would be like thirty feet. It wouldn't be like the whole, uh, the whole world would. Uh, be engulfed. We don't know what kind of, kind of cataclysmic events happen, Ray. Right? Fucking right. fissures in the what world. water just came out of nowhere and fucking yeah, uh, fucking just worn out the earth, Earth's butt. <laughs> uh, Dark City remake. Have to watch the first one first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Great movie. I I, I was just watching a, a video uh, about uh, Kiefer Sutherland who says that. That's probably one of his most iconic roles, and he does a great role as a doctor in that movie. Man, he's really good. Yeah, on your deathbed, I'll watch it. Uh-huh. <laughs> you're gonna die before me, fool. <laughs> <laughs> probably true. Uh, Inception remake, Inception is great. I haven't seen, I haven't seen it, but I don't think Nolan movies need remakes. Oh, Dark City, yeah, yep. Dark City is a good movie, man. It's uh, that's another, that's probably the other Alex, Alex Proyas movie. Mm. Yeah, I got a while. Uh, the gods, gods of Egypt was horrible. Yeah, that, that shit was horrible. I robots great. I fuck. It's one of my fucking favorite Will Smith I movies. I don't like him. Will Smith, but I did not murder him. Yeah, I was, uh, I was him. all right. Yeah, he doesn't act like Will Smith. He acts like the actor, <laughs> the character he's playing. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, it looks. Uh, yeah, we. Uh, we. Uh, this is gonna be officially the first, uh, the shortest episode ever. Ever. The McGinn special. <laughs> Frank, shout out to Frank. Uh, go check out Amazing Fantasy. Go check out Mission Comics. Go check out uh, uh, there's new uh, Invisible Jet comics on Terror on uh, West Portal. Go check them mm. out. Uh, yeah, support these guys. On the strip? Uh, yeah, a couple blocks away from a. Uh, uh, yeah, a couple blocks away from a. Uh, Empire. Uh, the station right there. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, go check them out. Shout out to all the comic shops uh, in the city. Go check them out. A little support your local local comic shop. Don't just check it out. Go uh, buy a comic. Yeah, go buy some comics. Go buy some gifts. They do gift cards and shit. You can buy some gifts for people. 
And they got other books right, there too. Uh, you know? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Effort, you got anything for us? Uh, uh, no. Let's keep it a real Frank special. No. All right. Under 45. I like it. All right, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, all that crap. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. And hopefully we'll have more news for you next time. Later. More news. More news. More news.